heaven became very real to you here in this last year. You um, you lost the 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 woman that you attached your life to and did life with. Um, after a battle with cancer, went home to be with Jesus. How different is heaven to you now and what's to come? How different is it for you than it was before? You know, since, since Nancy went to be with Jesus, um, everything I have studied Everything I have believed, everything that Nancy and I talked with at length, and she was right by my side all those years, 20 plus years, probably now going back almost 30 years that I've been studying the subject of heaven and, and really kind of focusing on the new earth. All those discussions helped prepare me. Mm for Nancy to leave this world and to just assure me not simply of what any Christian should believe, to be absent from the body, to be present with the Lord, better by far to die and be with Christ, all of that. Not just the general concept of how great heaven is and how happy she is there and that she's freed from suffering, and, and that all means so much to me. But what has affected me is picturing the life that all of God's people will have together. And because Nancy is the closest person to me ever in this life, to be able to imagine us together walking with Jesus, talking with Jesus eating and drinking with Jesus and experiencing life on this new world. One of the questions that Nancy asked me was, um, do you think it's okay with God if I ask him, uh, instead of, you know, if you've been faithful a little, I'll put you over much, ruling over cities, instead of uh, ruling at or and or being ruled over by people, and with people, because God entrusted animals to our care, and that's right there in Genesis from the very beginning, a human responsibility to care for the animals. Do you think it's all right with God if I ask him, could you put me over a hundred dogs? <laughs> and could I live uh, on the water and beside the water and see uh, dolphins? and sea turtles, which she loved, and monk seals, and manta rays, and whales. She loved whales, and all of that. Okay, so, and then me be there with dogs, do you think that's okay? And I said, I think it's okay. First of all, I don't think we'll ever ask a non-okay question to God. Now, some of the things that we might ask, at, think of right now as an okay question when we're there we'll think well that's silly or that's yeah. stupid or i know it's it's obvious not so much stupid it's just now it's obvious uh, it wasn't before <clears throat> and i just think that um that's a great question and i i told nancy and i told her again not not long before she died i said i just expect that on the new earth i'll see a lot of you and i and of course we won't be married um, that's another big question people have, yeah. but we will be married. We'll be married to Jesus. That's right. He is the bridegroom, and we will be part of the same bride married to him. Uh, but the point is, I think I'll be there with her. I know I'll be there with her, but I think I'll come visit her, maybe live nearby, um, and uh we together will watch those whales and play with those dogs and swim with those dolphins and manta rays. And um, I, I, that to me is not, oh, now you're making stuff up. You've written fiction, you've written nonfiction. Yeah, but you're now you're taking your nonfiction and you're mixing in fiction with it. Uh, 
No, I don't think so at all. In an embodied world with actual animals and actual people and actual culture, because that's there too, you've got, uh, we will serve him. What are we going to be doing to serve him? Uh, you know, what's it going to be like? It's called a city. So, and then, then the, there's nations mm. and there's, and we'll still be creative and making things and creating things and we'll be always his image bearers. Of course, we'll do science together. Of course, we'll invent new technology and uh, learn to travel other places in the universe. Now, is it possible I'm wrong on that? I'm sure. I just see no reason to believe that the new heavens and new earth will be anything but a much better version. Not a, It wouldn't be called the new earth if it's a non-earth. Mm. They wouldn't be called new bodies if they're non-bodies. And I, I just, there's no possible way that we won't do what people do but do it without sin and to the glory of God and do it much better than we've ever done it. Think of the collaboration in science. Think of scientists getting together and nobody's holding withhold, withholding information uh, for fear that somebody else will steal the Nobel Prize from them. You know, but we're all together for God's glory, discovering new things and rejoicing in the wonders of the universe. I think that's exactly what awaits us. All to the glory of God. He will never be on the fringe of it. He'll always be in the center of it.